I'm Bishop Thomas Hooker. I'm the Vicar General for the Diocese of Texas under uh, Bishop Wynn. And the first thing we're going to talk about is collars. The style of collar that I'm wearing is called a Roman collar. Um, the difference between the Roman and the Anglican is that the Roman collar, uh, I have a collarette on my collar, and it's narrower than the Anglican collar, which has a wider opening. They have the same thing on cassocks. Um, the Roman cassock will have a, a narrower opening at the front for the collar or for seminarians, and the Anglican collar will have a wider opening. The second thing is seminarians' collars, and once you get into the upper um, area of the lower degrees, you're permitted in seminary to wear uh, a collar. The shirt you can use either like I have. You can wear a shirt without a collar red on it. Um, you can wear just a plain collar. But for seminarians, they have a black stripe going down the center of the collar. Sometimes people will buy the shirts that have what's called a tie or a tab collar. Um, summer uh, stock is usually the best ones because they're permanent press and they have a really heavy collar on them, but the tabs actually fit into the collar. Um, on those shirts, you can actually fix it up so that you can put a, a collar stud inside the shirt, put a hole in your collar, and that way when you have your seminarian's collar on, it won't move from side to side. The uh, stripe is about a quarter inch wide or so. It's a narrow stripe. It can be a quarter inch wide. And the easiest way to do that, if you happen to be near any art stores, they have linotype uh, that are actually tack type strips that you can put on the collar itself. Or if you're an artist, you can always draw it on with a uh, rapidograph or something like that. How about black electrical tape? Black electrical tape? Well, that's a little bit wider, but you can do that. Um, the the collar that I'm wearing is called a Pontiff III, which is a higher collar than a Pontiff II and a Pontiff III. Um, my collar is a standard collar that actually looks on with collar stays. Uh, the tab collars, for some people, are a lot more comfortable because uh, if you happen to be out someplace and want to take your tie off, you just take it and put it in your pocket. The um, difference between the Roman and the Anglican, of course, again, is going to be the opening on the front. And mine, as I said, is a Roman style collar because the opening uh, around the uh, collar red is narrower than it would be on the Anglican collar. There's also a rebuff, and this is worn. Any number of things can be done, like if a priest has to be out on, a, on an emergency and has to get out, he's wearing the regular clothing, he can put a rebot on. Some places you may have to call it a rabbit because they may not know that the correct pronunciation of R-A-B-A-T is rabat. But this collar actually hooks in the back, and it has the black front on it so that if you're wearing another shirt, this will look like a collar, which is what it is. Um, sometimes the rabats will also have the, the black coating on it, uh, like a collarette, but this is a, a regular rabat, and it's easy to wear. It's what uh, Bishop Wynn prefers wearing because it's most comfortable, and it doesn't require hardly any cleanup at all. It can be cleaned with soap and water. Uh, most of the collars can be cleaned with soap and water. Um, if they happen to get really old or if you happen to be using them a long time and the, the backs break, then you can always get more of them from any of the stores themselves. And that's all I have on the collars.